Guys, this is why we can't be friends. Today, I'm going to tell you what is wrong with your Christmas cards. There. We need to talk. It's 2020 and some of you think it is appropriate to send your Christmas cards on time. Look how many we have gotten already and all these just came in the mail today. In a normal year, I find this fairly unacceptable behavior from people that I consider my friends. But it is a flaw that I am willing to overlook because I pride myself on being a very accepting and non-judgmental person. But I have to say, if you're gonna keep doing this, we can't be friends. This year, it is particularly irksome because it's been such a rotten, horrible, stinky, smelly, no good, awful year. This is your excuse to not send cards on time. This year, of all the years, you did not need to do this to yourselves. Bad mamas. Just look at all these cards that we have gotten already. Are you kidding me with this In 2020, I expect better of you. Let's look at some of these. Okay. This is too cute, it's a perfect family photo, and the baby's wearing a sweater. Do you know how much I wanted to get my babies into cute little baby, that's like a little baby gap sweater when my babies were babies? Our kids' heads wouldn't even fit through the holes. Mm. Not friends anymore. This family moved this year, so they moved, sold their house, bought a house, took coordinated family photos, and got their cards out on time. Yeah, nope, not friends. These kids are really cute, but um, they're smiling and facing the camera. In this one, not only do we have Star Wars Christmas jammies for the whole family, but their brand new puppy has Star Wars Christmas jammies. Now this is funny, they're like seizing the opportunity, making a joke, it says it's been a long year, but their baby has on one of those sweaters. <laughs> Adorable kids. Oh look, this family clearly got professional photos done in the fall, so they, they planned ahead for their Christmas card. We're not friends anymore, guys. Okay, here's one where the baby's crying. There's hope for this family. It says, Dear Santa, we tried. Okay, we're gonna put them over here. I think those are my new best friends. And for those of you whose cards arrived promptly the day after Thanksgiving, wow, I can't believe you did that. You also probably can't believe that the next time it snows and you get up before work to shovel and get your exercise, shovel it all by hand and make sure that nobody tramples the snow on your sidewalk, I will be waiting. And once you start work promptly at 9 a.m., I will come by with my lazy man's shovel to put all the snow back on your sidewalk because you clearly need more to do. I mean, obviously I know where you live, right? Because you're so smart, you hand stamped it on the back of your card. And on Christmas day, you're probably the type of people that are baking pies from scratch. So I will be hiding in your bushes, fork in hand, ready for you to set that pie out back to cool. Not for me to take home and pass off as my own homemade pie for my family. No, no, they know better than to expect that. To take for my new hobby, which is sitting in the Target parking lot by myself in the car, crying. Crying about how I used to be able to go in Target before kids, before COVID, get a latte and enjoy Target. I thought kids ruined Target, then COVID happened. Now you have to like rush in and rush out or order online. What is the fun in that? You can actually spend less than $100 at Target. Did you even know that? All right, so this one looks pretty normal. They just look like normal happy couple with their little dog has matching Halloween costume. Oh, I just threw up in my lap mouth a little bit. Oh, guys, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume to match theirs, as well as matching Christmas jammies and a matching Santa hat. Barf. Another cute baby in a little fisherman sweater. Adorable baby and the parents look rested? Yeah, we're definitely not friends. Here's a collage of a vacation that these two took to a park and they look like they still like each other. So this family did a collage. They did not gather for the holidays. That's nice and safe but instead someone knit them hand knit Santa hats for the whole family, everybody, and made a collage so that even though they're not together, their picture's still coordinated. Oh, kill me now. This is one of those fancy like silver lined envelopes. Oh, nuh uh, this person had someone draw a picture of her with her dogs. That is too adorable. Yeah, that is, that is so sweet with a handwritten note. Oh, it's too bad she put so much effort into this because we're not friends anymore. So this must be from the neighbors because it doesn't have any postage on it. 
It says, mostly nice, sometimes naughty, always having fun. Well, that is just too stinking cute. And five more came this weekend. Don't worry. I know what to do with these. Where's a pen? Return to sender. And my aunt sent fudge. Homemade fudge. Now, she sent presents for our kids, so clearly the fudge wasn't for them, and my husband doesn't really like sweets. So, ergo, this must be for me. This stupid homemade fudge. Oh, that's really good. I hate all of you. So I know what you're thinking. Oh, well shouldn't I send a card? It's really nice for people to have these cute pictures of our family and we can't be together so they're gonna wanna see the kids and the kids are getting so big and yeah, 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 you can send a card. But here's how you do it. You do what I did. You look through the whole year's worth of pictures and realize you don't have one single picture of your family together. So you finally get someone else to take a picture, get it ready to print and realize you didn't send your cards out last year. So your address book isn't updated at all. So then you go through the process of texting everybody and getting their updated addresses and then it wants you to upload the addresses so that you can print right on the cards and be all fancy like all of these people but you don't know how to do that so then you're waiting for your husband to help you and sometime between Christmas and Valentine's Day, your cards will arrive. And you know what? It'll be special because that day, your friends and family will only get one card, not this big pile. And so yours will really stand out. And here's the thing. We're not gonna make a joke about it being late. It's not late. For 2020, our card is going to be right on time because we say happy holidays anyway, right? So happy holidays, Valentine's Day is a holiday. But no, we're not sending Valentine's cards. We're sending Christmas cards after Christmas. And to my friend who sent a present this year, I have double bad news for you. One, we are breaking up. This friendship is over. You are too perfect, that is too wonderful, just stop it. And two, I'm gonna keep the present because it's probably the most sweet, thoughtful, appropriate gift. It's gonna be so perfect for me. It's gonna be the best thing I'm gonna get this year, I'm sure. So here's to keeping expectations low. Merry Christmas, mamas. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. You've got this, mamas.